All right. Well, I have spent a lot of time on this channel going through PlayStation and Xbox, and it hit me. You know, I haven't really done a lot on the Nintendo Switch. And I pulled my Switch into my game room and decided I'm going to hook this bad boy up. And we're going to play a little bit of Nintendo Switch. So, you know, right off the bat, you know, Nintendo is its own ecosystem. We all, we all know that. Nintendo really is its own ecosystem. So sometimes I disassociate, you know, my gaming and, you know, my uh, game library from my Nintendo. One, I keep, I keep the Switch in a different room. But also because when I think about wrestling games and sports games, well, those aren't really on the Switch. Not in, not in the same volume as they are on my Xbox 360, my PlayStation 2, my PlayStation 3, etc., etc. So... One of the games I really enjoyed was uh, Mario and Sonic Olympics on the Nintendo Switch, um, along with a host of other games, but you know we'll talk about that later. So in my first video on this channel ever for the Nintendo, we are going to discuss uh, Mario and Sonic Olympics. Now, I am playing this on my Switch. I'm actually recording this off my television and playing this on my... Nintendo Switch, Nintendo GameCube Retro Controller. I prefer this uh, controller. I don't. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm gonna have to figure out what the controls are. But the controller is really cool. It looks like an old school GameCube controller, but obviously, uh, you just plug in. It has a USB uh, extension at the end, and you just plug it into uh, your Switch uh, power dock. And then you can use it as your main controller. So it's it's very cool, very convenient. So let's see, you know what what makes this game fun? Well, I enjoy the variety games. I guess I, I've always been a sucker for that. I was a sucker for all the jam pack uh, demo disc games back in the day, and I'm a sucker for these. So why is this game fun? Well, let's see, hundred meter dash, hundred meter hurdle dash, the four. 4x4 four four relay, 100 meter dash, javelin throw, dream racing, which is pretty cool. Um, dream racing, yeah, this is. I'm trying to think. Uh, I was going to say it's like Mario Kart, but yeah, it, it's a little bit. Um, I mean, I think it's it's. You're kind of like on roller skates, skateboards, going downhill. It's not, it's not as deep as Mario Kart, but it's fun. Um, dream shooting, which is basically like you're roaming around and uh, you don't have to hit targets in a competition. Um, they're surfing, sport climbing, discus throw, triple jump, skateboarding, boxing, karate. These are some of my favorites. Boxing, karate... Uh, football, which is soccer, dream karate, horseback riding. My niece loves that. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, gymnastics, swimming, canoeing, rugby sevens. This is probably my favorite. Badminton, just fun. Table tennis, fencing, and archery. There's also a Tokyo 1964 mode, which is basically supposed to be like an old school version of the same games, but it's like you're playing it on your Super Nintendo or your Sega Genesis. Um, so the shooting is kind of like duck hunting, which is fun. Um, kayaking, the volleyball, and judo, karate. Uh, what, what is my favorite one? I mean, I guess the shooting one is pretty fun. Uh, I don't know, analog TV off. Um, I guess my favorite one is probably the rugby game. 
So, but what do I like about this in general before I jump in? I just like the variety of mini games. And I also like Mario Party, which I'm going to do some content on as well. For the same reasons. I love the variety of mini games. Um, I like playing Mario Party uh, uh, online with friends. But when I play single player, I just jump into the individual games and just do little the mini games uh, on my own, just like randomly, which is a ton of fun. I think the variety games, it's sort of like going back and playing, um, like a, it's like having the demo disc games where you get like 10 different games. You don't have a full fledged, fleshed out game, but you have a lot of like, uh, a lot of fun mini games and it's and it's cool to kind of bounce around and I, I, I enjoy that. I, I enjoy the variety and I think there's a lot of replayability because of that. So let's jump into the rugby. Whoops. The wrong button. Let's uh, jump into rugby. I'll pick my team. Let's see. I got some speed. All around player. Um, all right, I need a little speed. Presentation's nice. It sort of looks like you're playing uh, or you're watching the Olympics on NBC with regard to like the graphics and things like that, uh, like the sport graphics, not the actual. But, you know, sometimes it's nice to play this Nintendo ecosystem games, you know, on the Switch and all that, because, you know, it, it's, uh, it gets you out of the, um, you know, out of the PlayStation, um, uh, Xbox world, which is like, you know, you know, it's more serious. This is just, these are like, this is where you find like the high fun factor, old school kind of games, you know? You're not supposed to be taken seriously. Oh, she's coming in for the score. Now, I don't play a lot of rugby. I don't watch a lot of rugby, so I don't really know all the rules to be honest but i do enjoy playing this game All right, you got a score there. So it's fun. It's fun to pass the ball around. And, you know, obviously it's a little goofy. It's a little wacky. But, you know, this is one of the, uh, I think, one of the more fun modes. But this is what makes these kind of games fun. It's all about the high fun factor. It's not supposed to be taken too seriously. Um, you know, I think, uh, okay, this is kind of how you got to, like, field goal. Oh, I think I missed. Uh, I missed that. <laughs> I missed badly on that one. So this is rugby. Um, like I said, this game has probably been reduced in price because it's 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 about a year old. Now it's probably more than a year old now, actually. So you might be able to get it for under under thirty dollars if you're thinking about jumping in and trying it. Like I said, it's a variety game. It's like Mario Party, but it focuses on Olympic sports. So that would be the advantage of it. Ooh, if he has enough gas. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Oh, that one I got. Boom. All right, so now I'm just jumping in. I just want to kind of back around a little bit, give you an idea of the variety of games, so you get a feel for what this, uh, you know, what this game is about. So here we're getting into box. EG versus. Uh, it's a robot guy. He got me in a couple shots here. A uh, little bit of random button mashing here. It's trying to get in my hits. And I got him down. Nice. All right, a couple more shots in. Now I'm catching fire. Ooh, I think I got like a super punch in. Uh, he might be out. And that's it, KO. Well, it was kind of quick, but that's that was the boxing. Uh, the karate is pretty similar to this same same concept. I mean, like I said, it's not it's not um, you know fight night knockout or anything like that. You know, Mike Tyson's fight night. Um, it's not that deep. It's not UFC 2010 or you know 2009 or whatever undisputed. Actually, that's a game I'll probably do a video on at some point. On uh, my Xbox 360, just throwing that out there. Um, so stay tuned for that. But you know, yeah, this is uh, you know, like I said, it's fun. It's 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 this a high fun factor. And the one thing I'll say about the Mario and the Nintendo ecosystem, especially games like this, is these are the kind of games you don't have to hide when your kids come in the room, or you can play with other people. You know, and you should be like, yeah, friends over. Like it's always been, you know, good group fun. You know, and. You can play with the kids or whatever. You can play online with your friends. So, I mean, I, I think there's something to that, um, you know, and, and adding that value. At least it's, like, a little family-friendly. You know, for those who don't have families and you don't care about that, but, you know, it's it's nice. It's nice to have as an option. The karate is very similar. Um, so let's see what we want to jump into now. All right, so let's do some Dream Race. So this is one. I haven't done a ton of these. I do... I do enjoy like Mario Kart, so if I'm in the mood for like racing, I would probably do that. But well, let's go ahead and jump in. Whoa, I'm dead last. All right, missing every single thing on here. Missing all the jumps. Wow. Alright, I'll be honest, I am not great at this at this racing. Um little bit of Mario Kart style. Wouldn't be Nintendo without that aspect. I thought with Yoshi I'd be fast. I feel like I have concrete. This has been an exhibition in futility. I 
feel like I'm headed for last place pretty fast. Oh, this is so sad, Yoshi. So sad. What is going on here? In last place the whole time. Oh, wow. It wouldn't even let me jump on that. I thought it jumped. Over. Well, that was terrible. <laughs> All right. Well, you get the gist of what it was like, even though it was brutal to watch, I'm sure. All right, and before we wind this thing down, I figure let's do one in the old school uh, thing. So let's do, uh, let's try shooting this. I don't think I've ever played this actually, so this should be pretty embarrassing. Uh, hopefully not. Uh, so when you're ready to shoot, you press A to call, so launch the play target. Uh-huh, play target is launched, you aim with that. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I like how they change the music too when you switch between screens, so that's a nice touch. Oh. Whoa. What the hell? Alright, shoot again. Alright, got that one. Oh. All right, got that one. <laughs> We're starting the second half. What we'd expect. This is cool. It's kind of like Duck Hunt. It's very similar. Let's see this to the end. Which is a, I mean, that was a great game, so no problem with that. Definitely some skills. Will he make the shot? Right on target. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to be like multiple. Ooh. Got that one. Just that. Oh. Wow. Oof. Oh, all right. So, came out on top. Some good shooting. All right. That was fun. Uh, I will say this was a fun mode. So, uh, again, similar to Duck Cut, I think, you know, again, this is the this is the fun factor when you're playing a uh, a game like a variety game, right? You could you could find a couple of different game modes within a game that you enjoy and then suddenly it's like you can just cycle through them. It's not like you're playing one game. You don't have to turn it off. And you have a good time with that. I think that's pretty cool. And, you know, Ma Mario and Nintendo has done such a good job of being... They've become the masters of the variety. You know, you don't you don't get demo disc anymore. 
So, I mean, Game Pass is like a variety library, but this is a variety game. So, very, very cool. Uh, very impressed. I'm overall I'm very impressed with this game and, you know, what it has to offer. Um, you know, and if, I hope you guys got a good feel for what this game is like. This is Mario and Sonic uh, Olympics on the Nintendo Switch. Um, like I said, this game's been out for a little while, so you could probably get it at a reduced price. Um, but I highly recommend it. I think it's a fun game, fun for you, fun for the little family, if that's even a concern. But overall, uh, you will have fun with this, just like I always have fun right here in the corner arcade. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it.